Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, the Kenya Kwanza government was against mass action in this country. According to them, a demonstration was made to destroy properties in this country and they cause anarchy. But what is standing out as demonstration continued in this country, it is emerging clear that the Kenya Kwanza side are using police officers to cause mayhem in this country. They have turned police officers into goons. When you talk about destructing property, it is the police officers through the instruction from the Kenya Panther government. Because we have witnessed what people have gone through. To an extent now, we are seeing a government which is instructing police to injure journalists to an extent of even attempting on their lives. But then after that, they go ahead and share that information as if journalists have been attacked by the goons, seemingly, according to what they are referring to, as mere demonstrators. And then one question someone will ask. If Raila is on the street with the, his uh, supporters in demonstration, and then the media is covering the demonstration, how come those who are demonstrating will turn against the media when indeed they need the media to record what they are doing to send a message to the government and the international community. The people who need the media the most here, it is as meal. So Dennis Itundu was caught up trying to change the narrative as far as the issue of brutality. They want to show that Raila is leading goons, but the truth is that it is this government that is deploying goons in the mass action. So that attempt backfired so much badly. And um, in fact, this is what Dennis Itumbi said. Eh? As Mio very peaceful protest. NTV Eric Isinta stormed by as Mio protesters. Viewer direction advisory. He shared that photo. A photo that we cannot even put on this channel. Because of the YouTube guideline, we cannot put. But then it never took long because <laughs> people went further to share the information here. Philip Italy. Dennis Itumbi, don't be stupid. Eric was on top of our vehicle. We were attacked by our by your goons in the name of police. They fired both live bullet and lobbed uncountable uncounted number of tear gas canisters at the journalist on top of vehicle. Dennis Itumbi. Eric was hit by your cops. We saw it. I repeat, don't be stupid. But again, there was a piece of information that was shared by NTV. This is what they're saying. NTV cameraman injured while covering demos rushed to hospital. NTV cameraman Eric Sinta was on Thursday injured while he was covering the Zimio demonstration at Outering Road. Sinta was part of the journalist covering Raila Odinga's convoy. It is reported that he was hit by a tear, tear gas canister on the face. He felt hurting his arm. Unajua? Sio demonizers when they were going to throw tear gas. Tear gas was coming from police. So when we are Ruto's bloggers want to try and change that, I have also seen even Jitopev trying to change the narrative. Remember he was a journalist at one point. People really forget quickly. Now he's sitting near the power. The power has entered his head. Then he said, Tumbi is in the in, 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 in the power. Now he's sitting near Gashagwa. The power is entering his head. Before they were crying. Today they are celebrating as Kenyans are being brutalized and even journalists are suffering. Dennis Tumbi by profession is a journalist. Today is laughing. So the reality is that Police officers have turned into goons 
They are terrorizing Kenyans. And if they are wound, then if looting is happening, they are part of that looting. They are beating journalists. The question is, why this much fun? Now, this whole situation was a discussion which was shared, which was shared by regard to Gashago. And there is something important Polina Joroge is sharing out, what we discuss and how far these people were planning to cause injure, even kill people during the demonstration. Pauline Jolok is trying to share out that information. And I want to go through it, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel subscribers. I said thank you so much. And again to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. It's all about brutality, media freedom, and whatsoever. So this is what Pauline Jolok is saying. On Sunday, Rigatha Gashagwa held a meeting with top police bosses and uh, dictated the following. Number one, police to use excess force and a live bullet during Monday demos. Number two, internet to be shut down. Look at that. That's how far Gashagwa is going. Number four, police to ignore the invasion of the Kenyatta land one question someone will ask if you are talking about shutting down the internet what are you expecting to do when you shut down the internet and then we will connect this one to why police officers were brutalizing why were they targeting the journalist internet it means you are shutting down the information People will not be exposed to information, the current social that will be happening. Again, beating journalists, it means you are trying to stop them from airing out what is happening. The question we are asking today, what was the government planning to do? When you are going to Kenya, the man is going to media, the man is going to internet, the man is going but one man, Kidure Kindiki, was not in agreement with this plan. And this is what Kidure Kindiki position was. In TSS, Kidure Kindiki placed a, phone, placed a call to President Ruto, who by then was out of the country, and told him he would not be part of the above undertakings. The president weighed on the matter, called Rigadi and told him, shutting down the internet was pushing the matter too far and it would attract a lot of backlash locally and internationally. So, that particular idea was dropped. The president was also hesitant on the excessive use of force since it was him who would be fried by the international community. So you see, I think Durek Dick is not fitting in this government. Even when he speak, you find that he's not speaking his own word. It's just because he's in that government. Durek Dick, resign. Resign from this government. You will not lose anything. You can continue with your profession or you can go and contest another time as a governor or a, a, a senator. Rather than being part of this Gunism government. So the question is, what were they planning? The plan is all about killing people. They want to injure people. Mas severe injuries. And you can see what they have done to journalists. If this is a journalist, what about the people who who are down there. The common one I are just them. So what about them? The target and the whole plan is what we have always seen happening in Uganda. Because when we go to an extent of shutting down the internet, then you will see people have been beaten badly, they have been injured totally. I know my sister Bobby when sharing some of those photos and videos so bad that 
is what they are trying to borrow. In fact, Museveni is going to be ascended. Going by the move by Kashagwa's position, the advisor to William Samai Ruto, and the man who was in charge of the whole plan because Ruto was not here. It tells you that this government will make Museveni a saint. Museveni is fair. This one of William Ruto is the worst. So just imagine if you have reached that level. Are we in the right hands? Kenyans should find a reason to demonstrate against these people. How do you want to shut down the internet? I mean, what do you want to do? That the what do you want to do? Munataka ku assassinate what? Munataka ku uwa raila? Munataka ku uwa ofas wake? Munataka ku uwa wakenya wena wakotina jaha? Just because they are coming to demonstrate and tell you that we are hungry. And you see, to be quick to rub this matter, they share different photos there, trying to change the position of the issue. Gashagwa had a grave motive against Kenyans who are poor, who are hungry, and who have nothing. They just speak in their mind. And the comment was told by William Ruto. He is in charge. He will take sole responsibility when it comes to matters of security and the damage it has caused. Azimio is collecting evidence. They are documenting. That's why they said everyone should have their phone, take photos, take videos and send them. They are compiling a case. So I should prepare. Gashaka should prepare. And this government must prepare. Because now when someone shut internet, it means they want to wakatu nazima mwangaza when there is light. It means there is something you want to do. It's a bad thing. And they have attempted to do that. We have seen what has happened. They have even attempted on attacking Raila. The car was hit by bullets. So that is Gashagwa. Dictator. This brutality must end. They are making people now to come out in their numbers to overwhelm because the only way to deal with these people is just to come out in your numbers and tell these people no. As we keep quiet, what a jenga ile kiota ya kukia ya ndege itajengu wapa kwa kichwa yako. Kisha jengu wapa kwisho. Ndege inafaa tembe uko jule kini never allow it to build its nest on your head. Once it build its nest on your head, they will start peeing there, watakumagia, takataka, na kila kitu kwa hiyo kichwa, and you will have nothing to do. Kenyans don't allow that to happen. We must reject.